Alright guys, today we got an unboxing of the Keyshare Keymon or Kaimon or something of that nature. It's one of them. I think this was one of them Kickstarter deals. Uh, I have no idea what this thing costs when it came out. I think it was into the hundreds of dollars. I think upwards of 300 if not more. I got it for $99 on eBay. Okay. Because <laughs> I would never pay that kind of money for one of these things that doesn't, doesn't have a controller. That's one of those phone-only phone only deals. The packaging is very nice. It's very nice. There's the quad. The brushless motors are very nice on it too. They're big too, actually. Only got around to open this because Stephen Merritt sent me uh, a message saying get your ass in gear and get that thing open so i'm doing this for him um here's the prop guards and they fit right over you know i'm not a big prop guard guy but i'm gonna pop them on here just so you can see it because i am gonna take it up in here and just in case it goes ape shit you know, the prop guards will be in here to take the hit. So we'll demo it with the prop guards. And they just snap right on here. No particular order. You can put them on any way you want. That's what it looks like to me. There's the camera there. It faces down you know, 45 degrees. On the bottom there, you'll see there's an optical flow sensor and then two little sonars. Over here, there's a SD card slot. And there's one in there, I believe. Yes, there is. It's a 16 gigabyte SanDisk Ultra. So that was pretty nice. That it comes in there. So that's pretty cool. There's the battery. It's a 11.4 volt, 2,000 milliamp hours. Yeah, that's pretty nice. That snaps on there. Here's some props. Oh, they give you two complete sets of props, which is nice. Here's one set here, put those on. And then in this box, get out of here. This has the instructions here. Gives you your warning about your FAA and gives you some serial number stickers, which are right there. And, you know, all your safety guide and all that other crap. There's your safetyness right there. Don't kill people with the quadcopter. And then in here is your... battery charger. And it has your... 
Kind of like how Parrot has them, has all your little adapters for Europe and Asia and stuff like that on there. And then to use the one you want, you just find that little spot that it goes in there and then you twist it like that. And then to release that, to change it, there's a little tab right here that you push in and turn it to release it. So. That works easy, easy enough. Let's put the props on real quick. Got little uh, bullnose props. Now I'm using this prop tool. Now this is the only thing that I didn't send Chris Justice when I sent him that Sky Viper Pro. Because this was the only good thing about the Sky Viper Pro was the prop tool they gave you, which I kept. Sorry, Chris. I figured you could get the props on. <laughs> I actually I sent it with the props on I think so he didn't have to he didn't need the tool okay the props you can see um, there's a little indentation in here and that goes to the the um, the motor that has the little indent there then the there's ones that are just flush so then you would just use the prop that's flush okay so that's pretty that's pretty simple. So those are the B props and they're the ones that are reverse. Okay, we got the props on. All put together. Now I want to show you how, so you can get a size comparison of this thing how big it would be against like the Wingsland S6. If you know what that looks like, if you've seen that at Best Buy or anything like that. Here's the case I use for my Wingsland S6. I keep it in my DJI Mavic Air case because I have a nice case for the Mavic Air. And this will hold the Wingsland and an extra battery sitting on top, so. Okay, so there you go. There's your little comparison in the size. This is quite a lot bigger, and it has way bigger props than the S uh, than the S6. So let's just leave that there. I uh, forgot the phone, of course. Let me uh, go get the phone, and uh, we'll fire it up. Name of the app is called Keymon right there. That's all you got to do is type it into the app store. And it um, has the password 12345678900. That's the password. You turn it on until the lights start flashing. Then you go to the settings. already bound it up so it should jump to it real quick okay it shows up here in the Wi-Fi settings as this KSK 2011 7 blah 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 There's a whole bunch of letters and numbers to it then you go to the app And then it's going to have here home, outdoor, or indoor, or album, I mean. We're going to hit indoor. And then we're going to go connecting. And there it is. Now, it doesn't really uh, let you do anything with it until you take off. Here's your control mode. There's your virtual joysticks. There's your uh, setting for your uh, joystick if you want the Japanese style or American style. There's your sensitivity. It says you can't do that in indoors. Your compass calibration, your video settings, your burst settings, your shot timer settings, your white balance, uh, the camera resolution, the video resolution. I have it set at 1920 by 1080 60. Gives you your display resolution, which is 480p, and then gives you an option to. Um, format the SD card 
and gives you a little introduction here too. And then there's your little emergency stop button there at the top. And it says it right on there, emergency. So let's just take it off and see what happens. Who knows, maybe it'll crash into the wall. Okay, you touch that little lock. Okay, and then after you get done pressing the lock, you just slide up on that. And then it'll warm up the motors for a second and it gives you this little countdown that it's gonna take off. Now, you know I'm not a real big fan of these. Boy, well, it puts out a lot of wind, I can tell you that. Wow, thing's got some powerful motors on it, man. That thing puts out a boatload of wind. Okay, well, you know, I'm not a big fan of flying these things indoors with these phone controls, so I'm going to reserve the actual flying of this thing until I get it outside here tomorrow. So I'm going to take it out tomorrow for a little test spin, and then I'll post that video tomorrow, but... Yeah, it seems like it, you know, it's got some power there. So, all right, guys, there it is. I'll uh, get it out tomorrow, and we'll see what it does out there. It was, you saw it dancing around and hopping a little bit in here. That brown carpeting, you know, I've always said this in every video I ever made with these optical flow sensors. They just don't like the color brown. Optical flow sensors will always act weird when they're going over the color brown. If they're too close to the ground, like they are there, it's what, three, four feet up in the air. They'll start dancing around a lot, and they all do it. The Bebops, the Mavics, all of them, they all do the exact same thing over the color brown so all right guys i'll get it up there and we'll talk to you later